If you want to hit the ball like that with no effort and crush the ball off the tee, there's one critical thing that you've got to understand with how your elbow, your right elbow for right-handed golfers should move during the whole downswing. That's what I want to talk about today because so many golfers have been taught that they should look like this at impact. And I want to talk about why you shouldn't look like that and what that's going to cause. Now, there's been many great golfers who look like this. Ben Hogan's probably the most famous who got very, very open with his chest and hips. His right elbow was stuck up against that belt, and this is how he hit the ball. And of course, he was a phenomenal golfer. However, I would assure you, that's not the longest way to hit the golf ball. And you'll notice the longest hitters today typically don't look like this. And the reason is simple physics. If you want to have a golf club that's moving as fast as humanly possible, then the simplest way to do that is to make that shaft longer. That's why your driver is going to go much, much faster than your pitching wedge. No matter how hard you try and swing that pitching wedge, it will never ever come close to swing as fast as your driver simply because the length of the shaft increases the radius of the swing arc. So the club's moving around in a semicircle here, and the further I get that club away from my body, the faster it has to move to keep up with the rotating center. That may sound confusing for a second, but think about it just like a merry-go-round. The kid in the center of the merry-go-round, he's just kind of moving like this, right? Not going very fast. However, if I was, say, six feet out on the edge of the merry-go-round, my speed is going to be constant in relation to his. However, I'm going to be moving much faster. We're still looking at each other. He's barely moving, but I'm having to go three times faster just to keep up with him, and that is the trick to the golf swing. When your body starts turning, it helps create speed. As it creates speed, you want to then transfer that energy to the club head, and by doing, getting your arms as long as you can, that increases the radius of the swing arc, which gives you more speed with no effort. It doesn't take any more power to get your arms out there and get that right arm straight to make the radius of the arc wider than it does to rotate your body really hard. So this is just free speed that you don't have to work for. So when you're practicing, you should start drilling, getting your arms stopping at impact, and making sure that that right arm is almost completely straight at impact. It's straightening through the hitting area. It's not perfectly straight yet, but if you're like this, you're gonna see instantly a big boost of speed as you start letting your arms get wider and longer away from you and let that club rotate and release over. And that's the next trick, is that once you get your arms straightened up and get that elbow to work out away from you, instead of being stuck up against your hip, you need to understand how to release the club, and that's what I want to talk about in today's bonus video. Click the link you see up on the corner or down in the description. I'm going to take you to a video that's going to help you understand how to release the club properly that's going to take the strain off your body and give you more distance off the tee.